Hey guys, welcome to my DC20 homebrew workshop. It feels strange to be homebrewing in a system that is still in beta, but that is a testament to what a great system Dungeon Coach has created. I want to preface that the game is currently in beta 0.8 as I make this video. Today, I wanted to take a look at one of the subsystems that I created for my players. They wanted to be able to search for herbs when they were out in the wilderness, and they wanted to be able to craft stuff from those herbs. I think I created a fun and balanced minigame that they can partake in whenever they're traveling. First, let me share the rules that I made for searching for herbs. As you can see, once per day, they can roll 1d4 minus 2 in order to search for herbs. This is in place of the established option to make a survival check to refill a first aid kit. They can always still do that, but they have to choose between the two subsystems that they want to engage with. Either make the herbalism check to search for herbs to refill their first aid kit, or do this 1d4 minus 2 to search for herbs that they can use to craft other objects with. Why 1d4 minus 2? There needed to be a chance that they don't find anything. Also, the things that they can create are pretty strong, so I needed to temper that a little. Finally, there are two herbalists in the party, and they help each other, which makes their chances of success higher, as well as the increased benefits that they can gain by reaching higher herbalism checks when they craft the items that we'll take a look at when we get to the next screen. So you can see here I put healing tincture on the screen. This is the first thing that I created for them to be able to make. It's a DC 15 herbalism check. And as you can see, it follows the formula created by the dungeon coach. I went with a DC 15 because it will still create something on a fail. This also balances the power level of a free consumable that can be created whenever they want. On a success, it will grant two temporary hit points, success each five, an additional temporary hit point, on a critical success, an additional temporary hit point, and on a fail, it will only grant one temporary hit point. On a critical failure, they ruin the herbs and don't create anything. Next, as another option, they can make a caffeinated tea. As you can see, this also follows the buy five system of DC 20. It temporarily removes exhaustion depending on how strong it is brewed. The benefit lasts for an hour, and if more than three are consumed in a single day, then the when the benefits wear off, an extra level of exhaustion is gained. I had a player use this in a dungeon to relieve two levels of exhaustion. After searching some rooms and taking a quick rest, the hour was over and his exhaustion came back. He then used a lesser version that only removed one level of exhaustion. It lasted the rest of the dungeon, and it was a fun way for the player to deal with their exhaustion. There is... One extra benefit when you look at the caffeinated tea, and that's on a success, it will restore one stamina point. Finally, within the same dungeon, they found a script for a consumable called Spark Shot. This one has a higher DC of 20 because its effect is powerful. And on a failure, it still has a powerful effect for a craftable consumable. And yes, it has a by 10 enhancement instead of by 5 because it's a strong enhancement. I think it's fair, powerful, and balanced. So it is a DC 20 herbalism check. On a success, when they use this shot, it will replenish 2 mana points. Success each 10, it will restore an additional mana point. On a failure, it only restores 1 mana point. And on a critical failure, the formula is ruined. It is noteworthy that even on a failure, being able to restore one mana point with a consumable item that they can craft is pretty powerful, I think. So what do you think of my subsystem? Have you created any homebrew or subsystems for your DC20 game? I would love to hear about them in the comment section below. If you would like to see more of my homebrew, 
leave a comment down below and be sure to let me know. And until next time, thank you for rolling with us.